Welcome. Today we're going to depart from George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston, Texas. We'll climb to 16,000 feet and practice intercepting radials and lateral offsets using the FMC and LNAV. We'll also take a look at setting up a hold and the different ways to exit from them. We'll depart in heading mode. The route of flight is a large pattern, so we'll remain local, then land back at the airport. And here is a textual version of the route. All checklists are completed, and we've just been cleared for takeoff on runway 26 left. At 80 knots, the pilot monitoring calls out. 80 knots. 80 is called so the pilots can compare speed indications. Despite being below V1, 80 knots is now where the go slash no go decision is made. Unless a major issue, above 80 it is considered safer to continue. Seven thirty seven, cleared to Bravo Bravo Yankee Sierra Echo, on course. To proceed directly to a fix, copy it to the scratch pad and re enter it using the top left key, known as L1. This creates a course direct from our present position. After checking it on the navigation display, execute the change. Then select LNAV. Check it becomes the active mode and that the aircraft turns towards the selected waypoint. It is good practice to keep the Henning bug centered, when possible. Great, the aircraft has started the left turn, for the leg to college station. Even with having Traffic Collision Avoidance System, known as TCAS, a good scan of the area is made, looking outside for other traffic. When practical, it's good to keep the fix we're flying towards visible on the navigation display by zooming out. 737, for traffic, turn left to heading 270. We set 270 on the MCP and select heading mode. We check the mode becomes active and the aircraft turns as commanded.
Under the aircraft symbol on the navigation display, we can see the distance off track we are, just over three and a half miles to the left of course. 737, traffic no factor, fly present heading and join the 140 radial inbound to College Station. To enter a particular radial, simply click L1 twice, transferring the fix to the scratch pad and re-entering it. As we're flying inbound on the 140 radial, type the reciprocal course of 320 in the scratch pad and click R6 to enter it. We select LNAV and check it becomes the active mode. The aircraft will continue on this heading until intercepting the 140 radial inbound. As mentioned earlier, we rotate the heading bug to keep it centered with the course we wish to fly. Let's create a point, 10 miles this side of College Station. We transfer College Station to the scratch pad and type slash followed by a minus distance from the fix, since it's prior to, or on this side, of the fix. As it's prior, we enter it in the top line, using L1. If correct, we can execute the change. To hold at the new fix, click on hold, and then next hold. Select the fix, and click on L6 to enter it in the hold it field. The hold is created, and displayed on the navigation display. The expect further clearance time and Zulu time can be entered, and many parameters of the hold changed. For instance, we might seek clearance for 10 mile legs. Once happy, we can execute the hold and ensure we are in LNAV mode. On reaching the user-defined waypoint, the aircraft turns right to enter the hold that we just created. Very cool. There are two main ways to exit a hold. First, an option is to select the point after the holding fix and enter it in L1, replacing the holding fix. Another option is to click R6 beside Exit Hold on the Hold page. Notice, Exit Armed appears once the Exit Hold command is executed. To fly a distance to the left or right of course is called a lateral offset. To get to the lateral offset page, press the root button, then R6 beside offset. L or R denotes left or right off course, so to fly 3 miles to the left of course, enter L3. You can enter a waypoint to start the offset from and also a waypoint where it finishes. we would change to a right offset by entering R3. To remove the offset, we can simply delete it, the aircraft will return to the course. For additional practice, let's take a look at some hold parameters. Just like with offsets, we can change which side of the fix the hold is on by entering L or R. Time to head back and land on 26 left.
approaching minimums. Minimums. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. We hope you enjoyed yeah. this short flight around Houston. During the flight we practiced flying to a fix. Intercepting a particular radial inbound to a fix. Then we created a user-defined waypoint and set up a hold at that point. And we also practiced flying on a lateral offset from a course. If you found this of interest, please click like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to learn of our future videos. Thank you.